Today, we're going to be taking a look at consignment status exports. Firstly, go to EDI, then go to data export, and then consignment status updates. Once you are in this page, simply select new rule. Enter in the name of the rule, and select what type of export framework you wish to use. In this instance, we will be using email. However, there are other options available. Select the create button, which will create the rule, and it will automatically guide you into the rule settings. Now, what we can do is select the trigger period, as we do with all rules. For this trigger period, we'll be setting it to two minutes. Now, what we can do is go into our email settings, our framework settings, if you will. Now that you have the pop-up in front of you, what we will do in this instance is put in sender email, receiver email, and email too. This means that both the sender and receiver on the consignment will receive this status update, as well as the designated email we have in the email to section. We will then put in the email subject that the status is now delivered, as well as putting at model.consignment number, so that the consignment number automatically generates according to the appropriate consignment number that the rule applies to. We will also put this in the email body, and then after we have done this, we will select the validate button. This validate button will confirm that the code is correct, and if it is not correct, it will come back with a red message. This message will indicate what you have done wrong. In this instance, we have simply spelt consignment incorrectly. Once we make the appropriate adjustments, what we can then do is validate again. This will come back with a positive message as displayed in front of you. Now that we can see that the rule validates, simply select update, and then what we can do is focus on the file type. What we'll do is select basic CSV slash Excel, then go to the settings of the file type. In the file type settings, select mapping for the file that you wish to send. But in this instance, we will simply select send consignment PDF. Then we will select update and change the export file type to none. This means that the receiver of this email will only receive the PDF consignment. Now what we can review is the data filter. Scrolling down to the bottom in the data filter box, what we will do is put consignment status name. With consignment status name, we will then go equals and then go delivered. This will now say that if the consignment status name equals delivered, then simply export this email to any receivers available. What we can now do is enable the export and select update. To test this, you can simply go to a created consignment by going home, consignment actions and search consignments. Then once the consignment has loaded, you can then go to the admin tab. In the admin tab, what we will do is simply change the status manually. Please note that this is only for example sake. Now that we have changed the status to delivered, this should now trigger the rule. We can check this by clicking on the communication tab. Once you have clicked on the communication tab and you can see that the rule is triggered, it will probably appear red. This means that the export is pending. If you click on communication after say two minutes, you will now see that it is white. This means that the status has successfully exported in an email to any receivers that you have deemed necessary. That is how you do a consignment status update.